Hey, got a question for you. Hello. Um, can you talk? Like, chat normally? Yeah. Yeah? So, what do you think happens to you after you die? Um... Kind of thought this my whole life, even though I'm a Christian family. Mm -hmm. I think you're, like, reborn because I remember my past life. I remember yeah. I was in the Indian military. Yeah. Not the general. Have you gone back and found details of your past life? I remember some of it. I'll wake up and I'll have like dreams. Have you actually gone back and found the details though? Kind of. I remember once the, we had we got called in to Oh my gosh. What's the capital of India? Uh Delhi? Yeah, we got called in to Delhi. I think and um there was like a big terrorist attack and like we got called in and it was just really bad okay do you believe in god yeah yeah what do you think god thinks about you is he happy with how you've lived your life unhappy what do you think um Probably kind of both because I have made mistakes in the past. Okay, okay. Um, like quick test. Like I know I've told lies. Have you ever told a lie before? Yeah. Yeah. Ever taken something that isn't yours? Yeah. Yeah. Ever? Me too. Ever used bad language or gotten angry with someone? Mhm. Mm yeah. So I promise I'm not judging you. I've done these things as well. But if God were to judge us... People won't admit it. Yeah. But say if God were to judge us based on these things, do you think he would judge us as innocent or guilty of breaking his law? What do you think? Guilty, but that's what he is. is he forgives. And that's why... Sure. I agree that God is forgiving. But he also tells us he's going to punish every single sin. So, yeah. how can God be forgiving but also punish every single sin? I'm not sure. Maybe, um, maybe like the Catholic thing, um, mm -hmm. where you're on like the levels, or not, yeah, the Catholic thing. I think it's Catholic. Okay. What we're talking about it starts with a P. Purgatory? Oh my god. Purgatory? Yeah. Thing is, that's not mentioned in the Bible at all. Yeah, I know. So other, then we're just making it up. <laughs> but I was thinking if, like, there's different levels to heaven and the more sins you commit, the lower levels you are in that. Okay. Okay. But the thing is, what is the punishment for sin? I'm not sure. Hell? Yeah, well, yeah, eternal death. And God says, to get into heaven, you have to be perfect. I know I'm not perfect. Nobody's perfect? perfect. Yeah. And so knowing that we're guilty of breaking God's law and knowing that we deserve punishment for that, where should God send us? Should he send us to heaven or to hell? It depends. That's what I was thinking is if the Pythagorean, I don't know how to pronounce it, Whatever you said it was called, um, purgatory. If that doesn't happen, and your life isn't perfect, then you're just reborn into okay. another person. What do you and think is the a chance? And you keep okay. getting chances in lives until okay. you end up making it to heaven. What do you think is the purpose of reincarnation, though? Um, trying to perfect your life, trying to okay. be a good person. But remember how you just said before, no one's perfect? I'm not saying you're gonna, you have to be perfect. Well, God's saying we have to be perfect in order to enter into heaven. Well, then it's just a constant cycle. But the thing is, remember how I said he also has to punish every single sin? Mm-hmm. Yeah? If God just lets you go into another life, does that mean he's punishing sin? 
possibly because being on earth isn't as well as being in heaven. Well, the thing is, remember how he said the punishment is eternal? Can we ever pay off an eternal punishment in 80 or so years? Maybe. Maybe we like... Oh, yeah. Probably not. <laughs> I mean, it's <laughs> eternal, right? Never ending. Mm -hmm. So the thing is, what can we do then? Since going through another cycle won't pay for the sin that we've done. Since God must punish every single sin, otherwise he's not truly just. Since you need to be perfect in order to get to heaven, what answer is there? Being reborn or going to hell. Well, not even being reborn actually helps it. So that's not even an option. Going to hell is the only option. Right now, but here. Here's an idea. You ready for it? Mm -hmm. What if someone else takes 100% of the hell punishment you deserve? How much left would there be for you to take? How much what? Hell punishment. If they take your eternal hell punishment, how much would there be left for you to take? How much? If they take all of it. Yep, if they take all of it. I don't really know, like, I don't know how that works. Well, here, think of it like this, like, if someone, if you got, like, a speeding fine, and someone else paid it for you, how much left would there be for you to pay? Well, if they paid it all off, I would never have anything to pay. Yeah, exactly that. And so if someone pays your eternal hell fine, how much left would there be for you to take? Nothing. Nothing. So who could take that hell fine for you? Who would be perfect and who'd be willing to do it? Any ideas? Someone like Jesus, because he... When did he do that? I'm usually not a religious person unless it comes to stuff like this. Pardon? I said I'm usually not like super religious. That's okay. Yeah. Luckily for you, Jesus' life and death and resurrection is a historical fact. Yeah. So, okay, 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 okay. Think of it then. If Jesus takes your eternal hell punishment, where do you go once you die? Heaven or hell? Heaven. Because he takes all of it. Yeah. So what do you need to do so that Jesus takes a hell punishment for you specifically? Because it's not automatic. So what have you got to do? What do you mean? Like, how do I get it to him? How do I give it to him? Well, how does... So he offers it as a free gift. Do you uh -huh. know how... What you have to do to accept that gift? No. Oh, bat, baptize? Get baptized? Easier than that. Because if we had to work for it, whether it be by baptism or confession, then it's not a free gift, is it? Yeah. Well, um... What's it called when you get... When you're like officially converted into baptism or Catholic and the pastor or priest. I'm not talking Catholic, I'm talking what's actually in the Bible. Yeah, well, either the one. That, um, where they pray over you and then you're like officially converted. Yeah, here's the answer. See the verse I sent you? What uh -huh. does it say there that you have to do to not perish but have eternal life? Nothing. Don't have to do anything. Mm, well, you have to do something. It starts with a B. Oh, believe. Oh. Believe. Believe in what? What about God? What did God do? He gave his only begotten son. For what purpose? To pay off our sin and give us eternal life. Exactly that. So the one thing you need to do to get to heaven is simply trust that Jesus took the hell punishment for you. Make sense? Yeah. Yeah. So what's the one thing you need to do to get to heaven? Just believe. In what? God. What did he do? He gave his son for us to have eternal life. Yeah, to take the hell punishment we deserve. Okay. So just testing that you've really got this. Let's say that someone 
trust that Jesus took the hell punishment for them. They commit another sin and then they die. Where would they go? Heaven or hell? Wait, say that again. I'm sorry. They trust that Jesus took the hell punishment for them as the only reason they're getting to heaven. They commit another sin and then they die. Where would they go? Heaven or hell? Wouldn't the sin just go to Jesus? Yeah, because does Jesus only pay for your past sins or your future sins as well? All of them. All of them. Exactly that. So if you're trusting that Jesus took that punishment for you as your only reason, as your only hope, then yeah, you can know 100% that you're getting to heaven. Make sense? Yeah. Yeah. But knowing that Jesus pays for all of my future sin, does that mean I can just go and do whatever I want? No. No? Why not? What's going to stop me from just going and doing whatever I want to? Oh, like... I don't want to explain it, it's just wrong, it's like using Jesus. Yeah. And you shouldn't have, you shouldn't use him. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's horrific, it's like, kind of think of it like this. If someone saved your life, would you want to go and punch them in the face? No. No, why not? Because they saved my life. Yeah, exactly that. See how it works with Jesus? It'd be like, you know. Yeah, well, I mean, knowing that Jesus takes even that future punishment after he just saved your eternal life, to go on and intentionally sin would be like adding another nail in his hand on the cross, right? Yeah. yeah. And so as a result, if you trust that Jesus took that punishment, you'll want to sin less because you know that's going back onto Jesus. In fact, you want to do more good things like get baptized, like go and confess, like go and help other people and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Out of thankfulness, not because the good you things get you to you heaven. What I did today. What? So I live in Florida, mm -hmm. and I don't know if you heard, but our hurricane just came through. Yeah. So today I went to the beach. I walked up the beach and I picked up probably three garbage bags full of trash. Mm -hmm. And I. I don't know what exactly it's called, but it's like, oh my gosh, they have a name for it. It's living. It's not coral. It's not sea cucumber. It's nothing like that. But it was dying on the shore. Mm. So, and I was fully clothed. I didn't have swim trunks on. But I knew if I just threw it in the waves that it would get killed. And if I left it there, it would get killed. So I just brought it out. I swam out there. And the ra the waves are already nuts. I don't know. Does being a good person help you get to heaven? Yes, but no. No. You can Remember. be a bad person, but you'll still go to heaven because Jesus takes all your sins. That's see. But being a bad person is... It's like, yeah, like what you said, it's like punching someone in the face that saved your life. Well, God's definition of a good person is someone who's perfect, who's never done a single thing wrong throughout their entire lives. But no one's like that. Exactly why we all need Jesus. Has anyone ever kind of explained it to you like that before? Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Are you a pastor? No. Women can't be pastors. Well, at my church, there's a woman pastor. Probably shows that your church isn't following the Bible. So, okay, okay. But knowing, yeah, you'll want to do good things, knowing that Jesus takes that punishment. Not because those good things get you to heaven, but because you're so thankful to Jesus for already getting you there. Make sense? Yeah. yeah. But just checking, does me being a good person or doing good things have any effect on whether or not I get to heaven? Being a good person doesn't have an effect. But being a bad person is... 
I don't know how to explain it. It's like being, I don't want to say mean because it's more than mean. It's well, being, I don't know how to explain it. It's being bad to Jesus. Right, right. So, yeah. Yeah, no, someone who goes and does a horrible thing knowing that Jesus has to take that punishment, you've got to wonder, did they truly mean it when they said thank you? <laughs> Yeah. They truly mean it when I said, I believe. And so not because our goodness gets us to heaven. Jesus has already gotten us there. But we'll want to be good because we're so thankful to what he did to us. Make sense? Yeah. Yeah. And so then, let's say you stand before God. God asks you why he should let you into heaven. What do you think you would say? Um... Jesus gave his life for for me. Uh, he gave his life for me so I could make it here. Nobody's perfect, but he they I don't it's hard to say. I don't know how to explain it. No, that's okay, that's okay. Think of it like what did Jesus accomplish in giving his life for you? Being able to get to heaven. Yeah. And what specifically did he achieve? Like, what was the whole purpose of him dying on the cross again? So we can have eternal life and go to heaven. Yeah, well, more specifically to take our hell punishment, right? Like, see this. See this little guy here? Uh-huh. See the hell punishment coming towards him? Yeah. As a result, where would this guy go? Would he go to heaven or would he go to hell? Hell. Hell. Because it's coming straight towards him, right? Yeah. Yeah, but check out this little guy here. What's happening here? Jesus is protecting him. Yeah, and as a result, where would this guy go? Would he go to heaven or would he go to hell? Heaven, because Jesus protected him. Exactly that. That's what Jesus accomplished by dying on the cross for us. Does it make sense? Yeah. Yeah, some pretty good news, right? <laughs> People are so weird. <laughs> but do you still believe in reincarnation, do you think? Not as much as I used to. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, like, what has convinced you that reincarnation is real? Well, I remember I've seen videos. Here, I'm going to go over it real quick. Yeah. Like, so there was a kid that he was always obsessed with the Titanic, the ship that went down in 1912. I'm sure you know what it is. Mm -hmm. And so one day his parents got him a Titanic video game for his computer. Yep. And here, I'll, I'll try to find the video. I don't see it. But anyway, um, usually only happens when you're younger. But he was always obsessed with it his entire life. Mm. Or what? He's, um, he's still alive, but he's always been obsessed with it. He's probably seven or eight. And his parents bought him this Titanic video game and they were watching him play it. And he knew every corner every hall every mm -hmm. deck every everything about the ship mm -hmm. like you and i don't know i just find stuff like that weird and it's coming up it's came up on multiple occasions 
but it's only if people are younger. I'll show you. Yeah. Yeah. Here, I I will challenge you on that. First of all, as someone who's gone on a couple of cruises, um, you usually don't get to know every part of the ship for like ages. <laughs> well, so, he maybe he might not have been a passenger. He could have been a worker or sure, a sure. deck hand or whatever. On top of that, if he rem even if he did remember his li past life, why has he remembered any previous lives to that? Um, there's so many and questions. All the time. Listen, so, so they only remember when they're younger, mm -hmm. when they pass away for their past life. Yeah. They don't. They could have remembered their life before yeah. that, but only when they're younger because it was more current. Do so, you know what, what did you say was the purpose of people reincarnating again? Um, to get to have like a fresh start with a new life. What's but the purpose of having a fresh start? You don't need a fresh start. Yeah. So, what's the purpose? What's the purpose of having a fresh start? Um, getting rid of your past and any mistakes you've made to try to be a better person. But, but surely, wouldn't we remember our? You last don't need to be life. a better person with Jesus because He protected you from sure. hell, and, and you just go to heaven. And Jesus is clear, you know. Yeah. There's only eternal life or eternal death afterwards. Once you die, then there's the judgment. That's it. There's no second chances. So you either believe what Jesus said, who verified himself as someone who rose back from the dead, or you believe a YouTube video, which is cool to look into. And as someone who used to really be into it, I thought it was really cool as well. But ultimately... I'm going to go with the person who actually rose from the dead. Yeah. And as a result, that has some serious implications. <laughs> like my right standing before God. Like the fact that there's no second chance after. That this life is serious and that's all there is. Makes sense? Mm hmm But this is what I'm wondering. Mm-hmm. What happens before you're alive? God creates you in your mother's womb. You only existed in God's thought before you existed in... Your soul exists in conception. Listen. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And so, why do you want to believe reincarnation? I don't think I do anymore. Yeah, that's probably good to hear. <laughs> means uh, I don't have to talk about the fact that the human population is exponentially increasing or yeah, other random I stuff. So. I was just thinking that doesn't make any sense because the population would always stay current. Yeah, It'd always exactly. be one million for 50 yeah. years or for and, forever. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure the number's like, we have four times as many people on the earth right now than we did in 1970. And that includes animals as well, because humans like breeding. Wow. Yeah, so, yeah. But either way, God still exists. He still is concerned with how his creation lived and does things. And ultimately, one day we'll stand before him. So for you, my dude, are you going to have Jesus take your punishment or are you going to take it yourself? I'm sorry, what? Someone just flushed the toilet above me. I live in an apartment. And I can just hear the water run by. That's okay. So, ultimately, yeah, one day you're going to stand before God. Are you going to have... <laughs> they did it again. Did you hear it? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Is Jesus taking your punishment? Or are you? Jesus. Yeah. And what do you have to do so that he takes that punishment for you? Believe. Believe in what? God. That he did what? He gave his only begotten son. For what to... purpose? So we have eternal life. Yeah. And we get to go to heaven. 
to take the hell punishment for us, yeah, of which we can go into heaven. And so I'm almost going to try and convince you out of it now. Are you ready? Uh -huh. By saying that you trust that Jesus took the hell punishment for you, you realize it's no longer about you. It's about the person who saved you. Make sense? Mm -hmm. So what are some like sins or things in your life you know that you might have to stop doing knowing that that punishment goes back on to Jesus? What do you mean? Well, like um, sins in your life, everyday sins, whether it be looking at a woman with lust or watching pornography or disobeying your parents or, I don't know, stealing from a business or like lying on certain things, etc. like that. Um. You don't have to say them, but I'm sure there's some stuff. I'm trying to think. I don't know if it's considered a sin. But yeah. there's things like when your mom tells you to do the dishes and you don't do it, or just jaywalking, or like jaywalking, breaking the law. Yep, breaking the law because God is in God is specifically put in place the people who are in power. So if we disobey the government, unless they're telling us to disobey God, um, but if we disobey the government, then we're by proxy disobeying God. So, so it is a sin to disobey. But to a point. The government, yes, only if, un, except in the case of where they're telling you to disobey a specific one of God's commands. Okay. Makes sense. Um, but, yeah, you know yourself better than I do. Um, but some of the repercussions that could come for, from it, for example, like, I don't know, your friends could make fun of you. Your family could kick you out. Um, you may lose your job because you don't fit company standards. In some cases in the world, you may lose your life. Yeah. Simply for believing this. But, yeah, Jesus it's okay tells... okay if you do. It's okay. Yeah, I mean, which one's worth more? 80 years of this life versus eternity in heaven. Honestly, before I talked to you, I think I was afraid to die. But if I died right now, I don't think, I think I'd be okay. I know I'd be okay. I don't think I know I'd be okay. On a scale of 1 to 10, how sure are you that you'd get to heaven? 10. Why is that? Because I talked to you. So well, there, everything makes so much more sense now. That's awesome. Praise God. Yeah. No, um, and so what is, yeah, some things that you might want to start doing? Knowing that Jesus took the hell punishment for you. Um, just being the best person I can be. Yeah, sure, sure. Well, even simple stuff like you can actually, it would be better to know because God's created us, right? Mm -hmm. And so he knows us best, right? Yeah. And so God actually tells us some really good ways that we can be the best versions of ourselves. And that's by, and you get to know that by really getting to know his word. So do you have a Bible at home? I actually, you know, I said I live, I live in Florida. In May, I moved to Florida from Michigan. Yeah. So in Michigan, I still have a bunch of my stuff up there. That's okay. I should have it down here soon. So my Bible should be here soon. That's okay. Even in the meantime, ESV Bible. You can get it on the App Store or just read it online, whichever suits you best. Um, because, yeah, no, this is something good to get into as soon as possible. Um, yeah, for you, I'd actually recommend John. John's the fourth book in the New Testament. And you spend 10 minutes a night, get it done in a week. Um, John's a really great starter and you will learn a lot about what Jesus said and did and stuff like that. Um, and once you finish John, just read to the end of the Bible. Make sense? Mm hmm Yeah. And do you have a church? Nice. Awesome job. <laughs> do you have a church that you attend locally? Well, since COVID, I can't attend it. But right now, I've just been... <laughs> I watch it. 
as much as I can on Sundays and Wednesdays. Do you know what type of church you attend? Baptist. Baptist. Nice. Nice. Me too. Um, but yeah, whatever they're saying, check it back against what the Bible says, all right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Whether it be a certain on a certain topic or a certain statement about God, always check it back against what the Bible says, all right? Yeah. Yeah. And so do you well, here I'm going to final check checking question to make sure you got this 100%. Let's say that someone trusts that Jesus took the hell punishment for them. They believe in that, but they also believe in being a good person, reading their Bible, attending church, doing good things as all the reasons they're going to heaven. Would they go to heaven or would they go to hell? They go to hell. Okay. But what's the one thing we need to do to get to heaven? Believe that you said he trusts he, he trusts does. Him. He has faith in God. And that means that he should go to heaven. As the only reason they're getting to heaven. Because, see, if someone believes in 99% what Jesus did on the cross and 1% in their good works as the reasons they're getting to heaven, probably shows that they weren't truly trusting that Jesus was the only way they were getting to heaven. Make sense? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And as a... Yeah, yeah. How do you reinforce your belief in God? Read your Bible. Get into it daily. Pray that God sends you some friends that you can get really close to that really love his word, love serving his church, um, love reading his word, um, and that will encourage you to grow in your faith. These could be like older guys as well (laughs) or guys your age as well, either way. Um, And yeah constantly reading his bible memorize passages um you know study his word um get into different types of theology and learn about god and stuff like that well before covid hit i found this pretty cool i skate i Mm -hmm. have a skateboard and i skate yeah and people will look down on skaters pretty commonly Mm -hmm. but not all of them are bad and they're not far from here. There's a skate, uh, a skate park, an indoor skate park, and every Wednesday they have a skater um, like service. Yeah. Which I'm really looking forward when that open when everything opens back up. Sounds so cool. I can go do that. Yeah. Well, yeah. Chat with people there. Even chat about Jesus, because the point of the um, little question I was going to point to was. Do you know anyone in your life that is trusting in things other than Jesus or is trusting partially in Jesus or not even believing in Jesus as all as the reason they're getting to heaven? They just think they're getting into heaven, but they don't believe. Or even they don't believe in God or they're trusting in other things in instead of Jesus taking their punishment or they even believe 99% in what Jesus did on the cross and 1% in them being a good person. Do you know any people like that? Kind of. I know two. Yeah. Well, so yeah. I moved in with my mom. Mm. And she actually broke up with her boyfriend. Right. And the boyfriend mm. didn't believe in God, but I don't know very much about that because she tries to. I don't like having her talk about it because I know it makes her upset. That's okay. But That's okay. Yeah. After that, she started talking with this guy and a few weeks and I met him once mm. and my mom was just searching in background check because that past boyfriend was fraud ever he did some stuff and didn't tell her wow. and so my mom was doing like a background check and everything and he was an atheist yeah which I just find crazy <laughs> Clearly, there is a God. <laughs> we look around at this world. It's too intricate. It's too beautiful. Yeah. So, yeah, but even people who call themselves Christians, even people who are like, yeah, I believe that, but they're suddenly trusting in other things. I know I was one of those Christians for 15 years. <laughs> so, yeah, definitely check with even the people who call themselves a Christian, okay? What's on your mind? 
uh, I was pretty much doing the same thing, but now I think I can consider myself. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's wonderful. Because the moment you start trusting that Jesus took that hell punishment for you is, yeah, the moment you truly become a Christian. No baptism needed, no special confession or something like that. In the moment you as long believe. As you just believe. Yeah. That what Jesus did. What Jesus did on the cross and the beauty of that is the only reason you're getting to heaven. Make sense? Yeah. Yeah. And so I hope you do that as soon as possible. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I will. Awesome. I'll What's probably your- when I get off this, you said John? John, yeah. John. I'm in New Actually, Testament. Yeah, New Testament, fourth book. Okay. Fourth Thanks. book. Yeah. What do you think I should read after that? Just read to the end of the Bible. So it goes John and then Acts, which is like talking about the early church and stuff like that, and them going out, and there's Jewish and Gentile conflicts. And sometimes stuff in your Bible might be a bit confusing. Um, So see this little needgod.net website here? Uh My friends and I run that. So if you have any questions, any at all, shoot them through. And my friends, they're absolute nerds. They would love to answer any question you got or just chat with someone at your church or something like that for some more context. Okay. Yeah. I'm Um, on Search there right now. Or even if you need, if your atheist friend or your mom's oh, I don't, boyfriend is. I don't think I'm ever going to talk to him again. Good. Be, well, I mean, no hopefully judgment, he can hear. No me. judgment, but he can believe what he believes in. I can believe what I believe in. But sure. But think about that. People who don't know the way, who aren't trusting that the only reason they're getting to heaven is because Jesus took their hell punishment. Who's taking their punishment? No one's taking his punishment. Oh, he is. He takes his eternal hell punishment. And hell is a long and a scary and a tragic thing. Wonderful. Very nice. What's your name, by the way? William. Liam. I'm Grace. Lovely to meet you. What? William? Because people call me Liam. Liam. William. Liam. Yeah, thanks for the chat, man. Have you got any questions? I don't think so. No worries. If you do, shoot them through to the Instagram or to a little TikTok or (laughs) might (laughs) see yourself (laughs) there. But, yeah. Well, thank you a lot. Like... Praise God. It was all God's work. Yep. Yeah. So I hope to see you in heaven one day, my dude, and we can praise God for all that he's done. We will. Awesome. I'll let you go, man. Okay. Have a good night. You too. See ya. Bye.